What are you? What, what is it? So much shit for being an atheist in high school. He said. He says in the beginning, he's like, I gave you so much shit for being an atheist in high school, and then he's like reminiscing. That's We're in the car. Really insightful. Intense atheist. Oh, is Mansoor like the pale guy? Ahead of my time. No, no, no. Mansoor, listen, listen to like the first like thirty seconds. First thirty seconds. Intense atheist name. <laughs> Same. I was ahead of my time, bro. Were, I was telling bro, them. I was, so I was telling them, bro. I, was so I thought to myself, I was like, if I had a Fraz's number, I'd text them about this. I thought that like a year ago. <laughs> and, bro, people in REC, like, I remember being fucking 13 years old in REC, and, like, uh, the teacher fucking separated me from the rest. Yo, this, this fucking, this dude. I, I hear this, yeah. This dude is like, this dude is like, oh, I'm atheist now, and I was giving you so much shit. Bro, people are finally starting to, and uh, I, in REC one time, you know, it's like you got to do shit that goes against what, like, the masses are doing. Yeah. Do you know, did I ever tell you guys about that one time? I don't know if Zab was in this REC class. I don't think he was, but um, it was like, it was like seventh grade or eighth grade, eighth grade, I think. Um, I would think it was Miss Anissa or something like that. I hated that bitch. I, dude, I followed your footsteps of Fraz. I didn't follow your footsteps in Miss Mallory's class, but I 100% followed your footsteps in Miss Anissa's class. Anissa's class. So, I was the worst. She hated me. So what's it called? Um, what she did is she like separated the class and she's like, she's like, okay, uh, if you believe in a smiley, like if you believe in like Islam, then stay on this side of the class. And if you don't stay on this side of the class, everybody stood on the side of the class that believed in smileys, except for me and this other girl named Celeste. Do you know who that is? No. Dude, Celeste was fucking scary. Celeste is so like this crazy. like emo chick. She's like she's a she's a she's ignore her. Okay, she's she probably movie. killed herself. Yeah, she <laughs> <laughs> probably, bro. Probably. <laughs> I'm going to hell. Like, wait, 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 dude, dude, these are fucking legendary. Like at the age of eight. Yeah, dude, dude we have was, to show these. She was a Yo, by the way, quick quick intermission to our podcast. We have to say these stories to our kids. When we all have sons, we gotta <laughs> share these stories. We're we gonna pass on the legacy, but yeah, continue. Bro, so yeah. Are you recording there for us? You're yeah, recording? now I am, now I am. Okay, six, six. So, uh, what's it called? No, but that's gonna make us think about it, what we're saying. No, okay. no, we're gonna forget, bro. We're okay, gonna forget. Okay. But what's it called? They separated me from like the rest of the class, basically, and like Celeste, like nobody even talked to her, bro. She wouldn't even talk. And then uh, people were like, people after, like during break of that day in, uh, in REC, people were like coming up to me like, why are you like this, bro? What's wrong with you? What's wrong with you? That's what they were saying. I was like 13 years old, and I was telling them, like, y'all are wrong. You guys have no evidence of any of the stuff yeah. in religion existing. You don't think about it logically. And the teacher was, like, singling me out. And I look back at it. I'm like, bro, that's traumatic. That's bullying. Yeah. That's bullying. Yeah, You're right. bullying your students. 